Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction. I just got home from a school. Okay, I lie. I did not just got home. I got home about an hour or so ago. Um, decided to eat first before I do this uh, reaction. I was starving. Um, so I ate. Now it's time to react to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom's final trailer. Um, I think I've said it before many, many times that I love Jurassic World. It is not, it's not Jurassic Park. Um, let's just get it out of the way. And I love Jurassic Park. It is one of my favorite movie. It was one of my favorite movie growing up. And um, recently, very recently, uh, in my class, Geology of Cinema and Cinema, we got a chance to rewatch Jurassic Park. And it holds up, man. That movie holds up um, like a motherfucker. But um, that being said, I still really, really love Jurassic World, and I'm excited for its uh, sequels. And you know what I what I also love the teaser for this trailer. The teaser, um, my my favorite shot of the teaser is the Mosasaurus, you know, like under the water. It's kind of like you know how how you um like you go on YouTube and you you. You watch those video of like shark sighting uh, of uh, like a um, surfer, you know, like like a surfer would go like like that, and you, you can see a a shark underneath the water. Is is those type of shot, but like large scale with a mosasaurus. Oh my god, that was fucking badass. Um, and of course Chris Pratt, uh, being Chris Pratt, jumping over uh, the T Rex mouth and everything. That was really cool, a really, really cool teaser. Um, but yeah, let, let me stop talking and watch this uh, final trailer. This movie comes out in June, right? I think so, June. Here we go! She's tracked. Okay, okay, come on. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck that, no. Oh, so close. Can you think? Eleven species. Blue is the last of her kind. You'll never capture her. We thought you might know. What? A rescue arc. The last Velociraptor? That's really sad. Hey, Blue. You know me. Come with me. You know you can't stay here. <laughs> Back your men up right now. Oh man. It was all a lie. Oh my god. You never thought how many millions of trained predator like you once. They're gonna sell them. Not They need to hear something else. What is that thing? They made it. This is the most dangerous creature that ever walked the earth. <laughs> Oh, this is such a good Moses. shot. Moses, oh my god. <laughs> oh yes, yes. And if we're not careful, holy shit! They're gonna be here after. Welcome to Jurassic World. Is that the new dinosaur, the Indominus Ra Raptor, or something? Yeah. I would have shit my pants. I would have shit my pants. Gosh! Damn it, they're making me wait. Mmm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I have my concern. I have 
a wee bit of concern. The villain of the movie seems very um, animated. Seems very, uh, very fake. Like one of those Hollywood type um, uh, corporate, you know, like evil corporation, that type of stuff. Quite similar to the first one. You know, uh, Vincent, Vincent D'Onofrio. Um, I like him. I like him as an actor, and I thought he was he was having a lot of fun with that role for sure. But it it was very sort of generic and very uh, silly his characters. Um, and I feel like they, they they they're kind of doing the same things with this movie. There are things that I feel like, if done right, could be very very awesome. Like having Blue being this like hero. This like you know like uh, making blue like a like a toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon type of uh, of, of, of of animals. What I can't talk today, guys. Jesus. But you see what where I'm going with this? Like whereas um, in Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs are not really like the villain. You know what I mean? Like the dinosaurs are just they're just animals. They are just like. Excuse me. They're just doing what they need to do to survive. That's what they're doing. They're trying to survive, basically. Um. So, like, by having the these movie, you know, dividing the dinosaur into like, oh, these are bad dinosaurs, these are good dinosaurs. I don't know how that's going to pan out. Um. So that's one of my concerns. Well, that's my second concern. The villain and the dinosaurs. The overuse of CG, even though I am not opposed to it, I'm not opposing to, you know, overuse CGI as long as, you know, it's good. Um, Rewatching a Jurassic Park the other day made me realize just how much better the practical effect looks. And I'm a bit worried that the CGI in this movie is not going to live up to that um, that's, uh, that impact that Jurassic Park ha has on uh, just cinema. Like the it, it was, when that movie came out, it was revolutionary in terms of like special effect. So I don't know. I don't know. It it looks really really fun. Um, matter of fact. Uh, I still don't know how to feel about the human characters. I mean, they're they're very entertaining, but there's not a whole lot behind them. And honestly, I kind of expect that. Um, and uh, you know, bringing di the dinosaur there, there's a whole lot of like dinosaur inside a room uh, from this trailer. Like the dinosaurs spend more time indoor than they are outdoor in this trailer for some weird reason. And I feel like that could work for the um, the horror uh, aspect of the movie because you know there's there's nothing more terrifying than having like a killing machine inside your house chasing you around. But at the same time, is a lot more fun and more sort of fascinating seeing dinosaur you know in the wild you know like um, like Velociraptor. Um, and the long grass, that type of things, or indominate Rex, you know, like um, camouflage, that sort of things. And the fact that they made, they use uh, blue gene to make an Indominus Raptor, is is kind of silly. It, it, it is a bit silly. I'm not gonna lie. But this trailer is filled with you know like fun and excitement. And um, there's a lot of really, really cool shot. There's a shot of the Indominus Rex, uh, Rex, not Rex, Indominus Raptor on top of a building with the moonlight behind it. It looks badass. And again, the shot of the Mosasaurus underwater. Epic. Epic. But anyway, guys, find a trailer of Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. They have a tagline, I think. I saw the the new poster. They have a tagline saying the park is gone. 
What does that mean? So the park is gone, so there's no more dinosaur? Or the park is gone means that now is just no longer Jurassic Park, it's Jurassic World. It's mean dinosaurs everywhere now. It's not in it's not contained. They're not contained in one park. It's everywhere. Everywhere in the world. But anyway, let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this trailer. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button. Subscribe to me if you want to see more reaction like this. And with that being said, I'll see you soon.